Artists can take a variety of approaches to convey the human figure in their art. They may create the human form by referencing a model of a skeleton, or a photograph, or a live model. Now, the human figure has been the subject of art since prehistoric times, such as the Venus of Willendorf, one of the most famous figurines from 25,000 BCE, to ancient Egyptian art, such as Thutmose I and his mother, to ancient Greek art, such as the statue of Nike of Samothrace from 200 BC, to the Renaissance with Leonardo da Vinci's figure drawings, to modern art from Picasso, such as the old guitarist, and all the way through present day art. So let's find the half point. One, two, three, four. This would be the half point. Now a little bit above that half point are the hips. You have the hip axis right here. So now if you go all the way down to the bottom, this is where the feet would be. So if you go two above that, you find the knees. So if you go all the way to the top, that's the top of the head. Go right below that where the chin is. Now halfway, that's where the shoulders are. So you have the shoulder axis right here. And this is the chest axis. And here would be where the belly button would be. Now here you can see that the body can be divided into sections and arranged around multiple axes. Now that we know a little bit more about the proportions of the figure, we can get into gesture drawing. Now the figure can be broken down into parts. First, you have the plumb line, or the vertical line through the center of the figure, or wherever the weight of the figure lands. Now, here would be the head. And let's say the total figure is around eight heads tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what is a gesture drawing? A gesture drawing is a drawing that depicts action, form, or the pose of the figure. Typically, gesture drawings are done with a live model that strikes a variety of poses for as little as two to five minutes for each pose. The purpose of gesture drawing is to create quick studies of the human figure. It's important to simplify it when gesture drawing and finding the overall shape the figure is posing in. Now for the fun part. For this, we're gonna need a soft pencil or Conti crayon or charcoal, depends on what you have. I'll be using a soft pencil to demonstrate. You will also need a large piece of paper and an area large enough to draw. For my demonstration, I'll be using pictures of myself in various poses and timing myself up to five minutes for each pose. If you are alone, this works quite well, but if you have family or friends that are willing to strike a few poses, it is best to draw the figure from life. In this first demonstration, I'm timing myself for up to five minutes to create one gesture drawing. As you can see, I'm trying to find the overall shape the figure is in by finding where the weight of the figure is landing. Also, by finding what angles the hips, waist, and shoulder axes are in, but making sure I'm not focusing on too many details, just enough of a variation in line to suggest the character of the figure.
For my second demonstration, I'm starting in the same way, with a light and quick hand, first finding the overall shape and volume of the figure, and then going in to find where the axes are and the angles they are in. Lastly, I'm keeping a variety of line weight to suggest the more delicate features that I find most important, but still keeping it very simple. So typically gesture drawing is used as a warm up for longer poses with the live model, but I like to use it as practice in finding the volume of the figure and keeping my drawings simple yet realistic. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.